Good evening and welcome to Back Chat. I'm your host, Timba Madima. We're getting uh, ready for an exciting evening of chatting. We're chatting to Johan Boeta, an 800 meter legend in South African athletics. So I hope you guys are ready with your questions. We hope everything will run smooth today. I see Johan is in the building. So he's going to send me a request and then we're going to get chatting. Good evening, South Africa. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everybody is healthy and strong. I'm Dambile. Tosa Bolt. Uh, welcome, welcome to you. This evening we are speaking to Johan Bueta. Um, and we're going to have a good one. I've just sent him an invite. Ooh. Remember, if you have any questions, make sure to send them through. Clarissa Murray, I see you. Leon Marks. Party. Welcome guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're getting ready to go live with uh we're gonna wait for him to connect and then we're gonna get going. Good evening, good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome guys. Ntasi, welcome to you, Charles Lynn. Johan. Hi Kimba, how are you? I'm well and you. I'm glad we have connected. No problems. We're good to go. Yes, sorry, the, the, the sound's a bit bad. Um, excuse me, I'm, I'm just going to get my earphones and then I can use your backup. Give me one minute. Get your earphones and then we get going. All right, guys, this evening we're chatting to Johan Bueta. I'm going to introduce him uh, shortly. Uh, I am Dambile Hinda. Uh, born again fit. Welcome. I am Patrick Solomons. Welcome to you too. We're chatting to a uh, 800 meter legend guys these conversations are so important make sure to listen especially for the up-and-coming athletes you know these are athletes that have done some of the things that you want to do in the future so listen up um and make sure that you learn as much as possible uh johan is gonna be with us he's getting his earphones and then we're gonna get uh started with this chat that's better Temba. sorry i uh i look like a chopper pilot now so excuse me for that <laughs> But you can hear me better now. Is that is that better? Yeah, much better, much better. There's some there's something wrong with the lines here where I am. Sometimes it's soft. Sometimes it's I, I don't know. Okay, I don't, no I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the distance. I really don't know. All right, no problem. Otherwise, how have you been, Johan? Have you been good? Yes, the life the life is good. I uh, I am blessed where I am. I am uh, uh, I'm I'm in a good position in my life at this stage. Uh, um, you know, with everything that's happening in, in the world at this stage, you know, people losing businesses, people losing their work and everything, you know, just to, to have a have a work nowadays, you know, is already a, a blessing for anyone, you know. So so I can really not I and, and health wise it's good and uh, yeah. you know, when 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 I when I left South Africa I was a bit of a fat boy. <laughs> But 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 I but I've been working on it and I've I've lost twenty five kgs. Wow! I'm running every. I'm I'm running I'm running every day. Maybe I'll make a comeback for for twenty. Well, now it's twenty twenty one. Twenty five kilograms. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, I must say I. Uh, it's just 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 a matter of believing that you can do it, and that's what I did. I love that. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. You and uh, we're gonna come back to that. Uh, later, because I think uh, there's a question I want to ask with regards to that. I'll write it down. But before we do that, we need to do an introduction so okay. that the people who are watching can know exactly who we are dealing with. You know, sometimes these youngsters come in here, they don't know yeah, exactly don't who know. we're dealing with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's a, yeah, how do they say, I, I, you know, athletes like me and guys like Ezekiel, you know, we, we has been. At least we weren't <laughs> never been. <laughs> But at least you had been, you know. At least the bean is there, which means uh, you had yeah. a really good, good spell. Abs absolutely, absolutely. No, All lucky. Right. Let's get started. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, with us this evening, we've got uh, Johan Boeta. Uh, he is the World Indoor Championships 800-meter gold medalist. He's also World Indoor Championships 800-meter silver medalist. All African Games 800-meter finalist. Commonwealth Games 800-meter bronze medalist as well as a record holder, as a SA record holder in the 1,000 meters. Ladies and gentlemen, Johan Bueta. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> no, thank you so much. 
I, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm blessed and honored to be on this, this wonderful show of yours. Amazing, you know. I mean, yo, I get so excited because you know the the history of, of South African athletics as well as the 800 is is so rich. Uh, I don't think there's there's not a single medal we haven't won, um, but we're gonna get to that. We have to play a game first, Johan. After the game, we'll get into the questions. <laughs> okay, all right. Pressure, pressure, pressure. <laughs> all right. The game is called "What's in the Bag." Thirty seconds. You've got 30 seconds to tell us what did you have in your training bag or competition bag. 30 seconds, name as many things as possible. Coming to you in three, two, one, okay. let's go. Number one, my spikes. Number two, dry, dry clothes. Number three, uh, recovery drink. Number four, uh, well, my cell phone, because I always had to find phone home after, <laughs> after <laughs> I finished my event. Uh, number five, I always always had my, my Bible with me, which was very important for me. Yes. And, uh, uh, geez, um, uh, well, I, I cannot think of it. A towel, a towel. Sorry. I had a towel in there, yeah. And, and I had I had an elastic bag. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that okay? I'll give you six. Hey, six. six. Six is not the worst. Let's let's just say you're not the worst. How much? Uh, how much did my friend? How much did my friend Ezekiel get? I think Ezekiel got uh, run about eight or so. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's get let's get going, you and I mean, uh, uh, it's such an honor. Like once again, you know, I want to thank you for coming on here. Uh, we don't oh, take it for granted when we have uh, uh, athletes like yourself. I mean, you've achieved a lot. In your time, I mean, um, being an 800 meter world champion in the indoors, you know, that's the one medal. We know um, uh, Ezekiel Sepeng has got the silver at the Olympics as well as uh, world champs. We know uh, Murain Murauzi has won world champs and he's got a silver uh, in, uh, in, at the Olympics as well. But we've never had anybody win gold on the world indoors except yourself. So... That covers everything. You know, we've got Commonwealth Games. We've got the rest of the stuff. So thank you for making 800 meter the uh, a holistic. Uh, a ah, thank, ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no, you. I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be part of that, of that, uh, that whole circle of successes. Amazing. It's amazing stuff. Okay. So obviously um, this athletics journey is, is, is one that, you know, I think it starts so different for everybody um, around the world, you know. Uh, how, how did your your running journey? How did you discover the eight hundred uh, meter event? You know, and how did your athletics career start? You know, you know what, Timba? I was good from a very young age in my life. Um, okay. When when I when I was in in grade one and grade two, I was a sprinter. So I did sprints at the school and I was quite fast. And then what happened is they had like a fun run at school. You know, a fun run. So yeah, what yeah. happened is. What happened is your parents had to give, like, for each lap, you run around a 200-meter track. You know, yeah. the primary school tracks are smaller. So for each yeah, lap, yeah. you run around, around a track, your parents had to give an uh, 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 amount of money. So okay. for each lap, you know. So, so what happened is my, my, my mother was actually work at, at work, um, and it happened in the, in the school. It started in the morning, okay. and I was a sprinter. And so what happened is I was like, uh, the thing started, and I was running and running and running and running. Later, the teachers started to uh, pack up, you know, take their stuff and start packing up. And I was the only kid still running. <laughs> it's getting dark. So, so then, so then my, 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 my grandmother was there, and she, she went, she said, she said to my, my mother, she said, listen, it's, uh, it's important that you get to school and stop your child <laughs> because uh, he's, 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 ma he's making you broke. And, uh, and yeah, <laughs> and, 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 from, well, and, and then from there on, you know, I just started doing middle distance running and training at school. And from there, it was just improvement on improvement on improvement every year. So I, I'm, I'm one of those lucky guys that uh, yeah. came, came from a very young age and, and I evolved into a, a senior athlete at the end of the day. So, you know, you know, you see so you see so many you see so many junior athletes coming through the ranks and then somewhere along the line yeah. they disappear. They disappear. Yeah. I was 
I was I was lucky though. I didn't disappear, but I also had a very good support 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 structure from 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 my mother my mother's side from the school, and then after school from my coach Toby Durant and later JP van der Merwe and everything. So so I was I was I was very lucky uh, in in that in that sense that uh, I I could progress steadily yeah. steadily steadily where where I finished up at the old, at, at at the end. Amazing, yeah. You, you're gonna, you're gonna. I'm sure your your parents weren't happy with you, <laughs> but I mean, I think uh, it, it was the beginning of uh, of an amazing career. I'm gonna do a few welcomes yeah. here. I see uh, Heinrich van Niekerk is here. Danny Cornelissen, welcome. Kicks the high jumper, welcome to you. I saw Renat van Rensburg, Dambile, uh, Chris Conradi. I'm sure he's next to you or close to you somewhere there. Uh, I'm sure in this uh, I saw him this afternoon, yeah. You saw him this afternoon, and yeah. yeah. Also Beatrice Lebuhang, welcome, guys. I'm not, I can't see everybody, but yeah, it's, it's always good when people are joining in on these conversations. Uh, I see Rena says some of us don't have that talent and need to train hard. <laughs> ah, no, you know what? I think I think Rena's got that talent. There's no, there's no doubt about it. You know, to to run to run 145 like he's done. You know, you see, you yourself as an eight and a half to run. To run at a 145 like that, you know, it's just at one race that that yeah. keeps and then uh, and then and you go through. So you you get there. You must just keep on believing. That's true. That's true. That's absolutely true. I mean, like I said, the 800 meter is is one of those events, and you said you you discovered it early. But I mean, from from your side, what type of athlete would you say you are? I know you've got a very strong uh, 1500 meter. I mean, you've got a 336.30. Uh, and you've got, I mean, I just want to say the times because some people don't understand how fast you were, you know. But you've got a 143.91 on the 800, 143.91 on the 800. Uh, did you have to rest in between or did you do this uh, continuously? Uh, well, you're talking about the 800 meters, so what do yeah, you mean? You run a 400, rest 10 minutes, 400 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. D -d Divine intervention. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. But then also, yeah, like, you're, you're, you. on the 400, you've got a, a 48, you know? Um, no, no. You know what? I, 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 actually got, I actually got got a 46 zero something. I, I what happened so. is... Yeah, yeah. No, you know what? I, I ran a league meeting once, and I ran a 46. I won the race. And well, those those stats never got sent through. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so that's that's one thing you know. You know, all of us sometimes go back to uh, to Google and you go and check yourself. It's yeah, it's yeah. a human thing. So I look at all these times and I see that forty eight, and I'm like, it's, you know, it's 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 uh, it's not it's not, it's not a good feeling to see that. You know, but what what can I do? I know in my heart that I ran a forty six. I was wondering because I, I checked, I was like, near yeah, man, forty eight. And the yeah, no, the, no. The, it's not a nice 48, it's like a, it's a high 48. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Some way, some way somebody slipped up. I'll find that person one day and we'll have a talk. Okay, okay. I see you. Um, welcome to, to more of you guys uh, logging on, guys. This evening we're chatting to uh, Johan Boeta, uh, a legend, a legend on uh, the 800 meters. You usually do... Uh, Reynard says, yeah, maybe it was 48 was the first lap of your your your, your, your 800, right? Yeah, but then the last 100 meters, uh, I start walking on the 48 first lap. <laughs> <laughs> so so let, let's talk about development. So you said you had very good structures, mm. which is very important. I mean, mm. as you said, I mean, I personally also believe um, it's it's possible for an athlete to be good at youth, junior, uh, senior, all the way up, you know? And um, structure, as you said, it was very important. What, what would you say was one of the most important things that allowed you to continually progress, you know, through the ranks? I think that's very important uh, for some of the young athletes to hear because I think there's a, there's a misconception that once you're a good junior, you're going to disappear. But yeah. it's possible, you know, it's possible to be an excellent junior and then become an excellent uh, senior. You, you, uh, Usain Bolt did it yeah. as well as many other middle distance athletes. Yeah, you know, you know the thing. I think what happens is, you know, there's a lot of lot of people out there, you know, and and uh, or, or youngsters that that they they train um, so hard because they they you know in the in 
in the idea that I want to perform all the time, perform, perform, yeah. perform, perform. Yeah. Um, and and they 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 lose touch in the fact that you 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 have to train hard, but you also have to rest, and you also have to do other things in life. You know, um, not just be an athlete, but also but also be uh, also be. Uh, 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 so I just want to close this. Um, also, be a young young person, a young child. Yeah. And, and what I think what happened to me is I had I had firstly I had very good coaches. I had a I had a coach in uh, in primary school called uh, uh, Cle- uh, Mr. Kleefstra, and okay. what he did with me I did athletics in the athletics season, and when when the athletics season was finished, sorry yeah. my Afrikaans can't do that. Um, <laughs> when 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 the season was finished, uh, I started playing rugby. Okay, and then and then that then after I was finished with primary school, I went to a different coach called uh, uh, Freddie, and he coached me. And then when the athletic season was finished, I played rugby until about the age of yeah. seventeen. Then, then I started really. Then I really started focusing on athletics because then my you know people started seeing like this guy is very talented and and he's going to get hurt in rugby. And, and and the other thing is. I was I was fast and I had skill in rugby and everything, but I was small. And yeah. if you see the size of the boys in the rugby field, uh, the, the the I would have I would have gotten hurt. So then yeah. I then I stopped. Uh, but but and then after after school I went to to Abu Dhabi. Um, was my coach until 1996, and unfortunately at the Olympics in 96 he passed away. And then after that I went to JP, and mm. which was what well, what was good for me is is that. Those early coaches in my life, mm. they all they all protected me and they nurtured yeah. me to be a senior athlete. Because it was so, I always said to my, I always said to my mother, she always said to me, "Geez, but there's a new boy, he's good." And I said to my, and around about the age of seventeen, I said to my mother, I said, "Mom, you know what? I see them come and I see them go." Yeah. Because I'm, I'm always there, and there's always a guy that pushes me to the limit, and then and then he disappears. Yeah. And uh, I was true. I was in the, yeah, I was in that lucky, lucky situation where I had coaches in my life that that protected me as an athlete. That that had the bigger picture. That said, okay, this this guy's got this this talent. So let's yeah. let's develop let's develop him slowly, and and then um, and then we will we will you you will one day perhaps be a good senior athlete. So uh, that's that that's the secret I think uh, in at the end for me becoming what I was in an athlete. Though. I mean, that's, that, 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 that's amazing. I mean, you know, uh, we, we take that uh, for granted because, you know, I think as a, as, a, as a youth or a junior athlete, I mean, what is hard training? You don't know. Like, you don't know what the limits are. You don't know. Yeah. And you get so excited and you don't, you, you just want to be world champ. You want to break records, you know. Mm-hmm. But I mean, to hear that, you know, sometimes it just, it takes time and you need to progress. Uh, it's very important. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, the thing is with well, me me being a coach now, I'm being a coach for for, for a couple of years now. Mm. It um, uh, it it's it's according to me though is you know a, a young athlete, you can push him and you can push him and you can push him because the body is at that stage of just going and developing yeah. and, and, and and it's like a sponge; it can take everything. But the thing is, is. um, at uh, if you keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. At some stage, it's you, th- that athlete's going to break. So my yeah. personal feeling, uh, uh, that's what I, I really try to do is is to is to protect the athlete uh, yes. as a coach. So there, where the athlete comes to me and says, "Coach, listen, I have this problem." You you know, you, in training, you you know who is your customers. You have the yeah. customer always takes chances. You know, you you, you know, <laughs> you always take chances. And when it comes to you, you think to yourself, ah, and then you get that one guy. That one guy who trains, 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 and then and then he comes to his coach. Yeah, I have a niggle. Then you have to listen to that athlete, you know. You know and, and that and that's that's the responsibility of the coach. And I, the thing is, I had I had coaches I had coaches like that 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 yeah. um, in my, my younger younger years as a, as a junior athlete, um, I uh, um, they 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 listened to me when I when I had pains, and they 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 looked at me, you know, they looked at at my 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 whole. My whole way of walking and all those kind yeah. of things, and except except when we went to JP, um, 
JP was uh, he was a military he was a military man. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's that's a bit of a different story though. So you know I I want to get I want to get to that uh, question. I've got it here. Uh, but before we get to that uh, I see there's a question here somebody asked um who were your your fiercest competitors in South Africa? Who were some of the guys when you know when you step on the line with them in South Africa it's war it's war. Well, well, I think my fiercest competitor was Ezekiel Sepeng. You know, we were yeah. we were training partners, and and one day he won, other day I won. You know, yeah. and um, and so we we were very, although we were very good friends and training partners and everything. But when we got into the track, there was no mercy. So we ran against each other, ran ran against each other. Then I must say, my whole training group. Yeah, my my whole training group. I mean, um, I give you an example. A guy like Hirion Hirion van Uitsweren. Kirion ran uh, 145 145 0 something Sheesh. and he was number 1 2 3 4 he was number 5 in the training group yo 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 yeah yo. and then then I had Meyer Kotz um Werner Boeta Jurgen Scotts um Graham yeah, yeah Werner Boeta Graham Davidson we uh, we we were it was just this amazing bunch of athletes and 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 uh, any day in training uh, uh, the other day I had a conversation with somebody and I said to them I said you know uh, when when our training group was 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 so that uh, in training if you had a bad day hmm. they were like they were they were like a bunch of lions they smelt it <laughs> <laughs> and and you knew if you get to training and you try it or you hey. perhaps you had You had a late night out with the friends, Inside. and you come there. It, I tell you, when you get out of your car, it's like they smell it, and you know today, today I'm going to bleed. <laughs> so, so, so my whole training group, and then at school, I had a, my, my, I think my fiercest competition at school was a guy called Hendrik Milan. He was the head boy of Waterloo High School. He, okay. he pushed me from from age 15 until about age 18. He pushed me into the red, and then I think my other most fierce um uh competitor i ran against and he, yeah he he was when 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 we competed uh in pretoria or johannesburg it was no problem you know yeah. we, it, it was our value there was a guy called marius van jerden uh. i don't know if you remember marius van jerden he's the, he's between me ezekiel and him we were the same age he's the first guy who ran sub 145 he ran 144 uh. 50 But Marius van Jerden, when you went to Cape Town, man, different animal. <laughs> If he steps on that track and that that Stellenbosch air catches him and that Stellenbosch vibe catches him, you know, you, you know, you know, it's you're, you're, it's war. But at altitude, altitude, you know, our valley, things went our way though. But but that's that's that, but that, that's about my the, the guys you know I think Ezekiel number one I think Marius number two number three my training group and then I have to mention like I said I have to mention Marius van Jerden he was uh, he was uh, he was one uh, one hell of a school competitor to run against. Wow, I mean that's amazing. Um, you know, every time when you know I I, I chat with with Sofeng a lot you know and uh, I'm one of those I'm like. Uh, You know, I, I, I always I see myself as a fan of of athletics. You know, I'm always yeah. a fan. So like, uh, I I like the history. I like I want to know who was before. You know, who are the legends? Uh, and every time I hear about your training group under, uh, I mean, legendary coach uh, JP van der Merwe, and yeah. I mean one of the I mean your group was was probably I don't think we'll ever have a group that fears. Uh, in South Africa again. I mean, like you said, it, anything from 142, 3, 4, 5, 6, how many guys are running 146? I mean, yeah. every training session, yeah. I mean, Sepeng spoke of a story where uh, GP Van der Merwe said the guys must run at least 148. They didn't do it, and at training, they had to run a 145. I mean... Yeah, but you, but you, but you, you, you know what the ironic thing is in that whole thing? I was that, I was watching that program that day. Ironic thing is, I wasn't part of that race. <laughs> it was weekend where I was resting, so it was his <laughs> deal. The other guys running. So what happened is then on that Monday or Tuesday when we got to the training again, 
JP says he walks in. JP had always, if he becomes to training and, and he's, he, you, you can see suddenly there's a different look in his eyes. Yeah. Then, you know, then you know something is not right. So he got to training. <laughs> he got to training. He said to Ezekiel, good run. He said to the other guys, guys, you, um, you are doing a time trial. You're running 145 this meeting. And I'm like, okay, good. I didn't, I didn't run. He says, and you're, 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 you're the pace setter. You? <laughs> yeah, so for well, me, I wasn't even in the race, but at the end of the day, I had to pace. Well, at least uh, we, 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 we ran that day. With, I think we, we ran a 145 that day in training. Yes, in training. Yeah. yeah. But, you, but, you, but, you, but, you, but you but you know what, what made that training group good? Um, mm. um, well, number, number, the, the dynamics in the group was, was perfect. You yeah. know, everybody, everybody wanted to compete. Everybody pushed each other into the red. And everybody was friends. That was oh, the important yes. thing. Yes, we were, yes. we were, I think we were more than friends. I think we were more like, like brothers. But I think the, the, the good thing about that training group was everybody brought some strong point to the training yeah. group. Absolutely. It's like, you know, Gideon and Mayer and them, they were, they were quite good on the road, you know. So yeah. when we went on to the road, they would, they would really push me and Ezekiel into the, into the, into the red with the training group because, because we, we, would, we would go for a, a 10K run, you know, midweek run, and then, and then we would, um, uh, where we were supposed to be running like 45 minutes, we'll come back in 35 minutes. Because the guys would be pushing each other and they, and they were yeah, pushing yeah. us. And then Ezekiel, because of his power weight ratio, you know, Ezekiel weighed, he was so powerful, he weighed like 55 kilograms. Ezekiel ran a, ran, Ezekiel ran a hill like you run a downhill. Yo, 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 he, was yo. Just, he, was, he was just devastating on, oh, wow. on the hills. He would, he would lap us on the hills. We would do a hill session, he'd go boom, 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 and we'd all be dying. But man, when we went to the track, my, 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 my nickname at the training group still today is Speedy. Speedy. <laughs> Man, if there was a 200, 400, 300 session, I'd, I'd come to the track. If JB says we're doing this, I'll go like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so, it's my time. Yeah, it's my time. And, and, and you know, that, you know that, that strong point of each of the athletes in the training group, yeah. Uh, just help the other guy on his weakness, and that's okay. that's what made the training good training group. And then, and then um, I must say, you know, all credit must go to JP. Uh, yeah. I think I think JP was a brilliant coach. He he knew to 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 manage each of us because there yeah. was there was there was a there was a bunch of good athletes. And you know, the moment you start becoming a good athlete, you know, lots of times it goes to here, and then. Yeah. Uh, your, 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 head's, your head's in the sky, but your, your feet doesn't touch the ground. And he, yeah. he, had, this way, he had this way of keeping, us, keeping our feet on the ground. And so all honor must go to him there. Though. Absolutely. I mean, he's a, he's a legendary coach. I mean, to manage mm. so many high pro I mean, you guys are high-profile uh, athletes. Uh, I'm sure um, you guys, I mean, there was a time where you guys had all these titles in the group. What, what was the energy like? Did, did uh, uh, with, when the guys started, you know, performing at, at an international level and so on, um, what 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 was the the atmosphere like in the group? Was there was there a few superstars in the group, you know, coming in the in in their you know branded clothing sponsors? I'm sure that was also nice to see, you know, your group uh, uh, transforming in that way. Yeah, no, look. At, at, at the end of the day, I think uh, the, the, you know we, we had very good athletes in our country. You know, uh, I give you an example. Um, oh, in our training group, you know, Gideon van Oudtshoorn in ninety in two thousand, he ran one forty five zero zero something, mm. and he was in South Africa number six Jeez. for for qualifying for the Olympics. Hey. Ezekiel ran Ezekiel ran one forty three. Um, What's his name? Uh, Van der Boete ran 144.2. I ran mm. 144.7. Malausi ran 144.9. And Sean yeah. Abrams ran 145 flat. And Gideon, 145.0, he didn't make the team to the Olympics. Wow. So, um, so, so we, we, you know, I think, I think in our training group, if I can come back to your question, is um, at the end of the day, I think each of us appreciated the other one. Because yeah. if me... 
if me and Ezekiel went there, you know, we, you know, and, and we didn't pull Gideon and those other guys with us and with the attitude we had, because, you know, yes. you came, they came into the training group and they knew that if I, if I don't keep up, I'm going to be left behind. Yeah. So, 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 uh, there, 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 there was always a good atmosphere and everybody was glad for the other one. It's like yeah. if the one guy, one guy had a good competition, you know, there was, there was, there was this, com, 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 you know, this friendship and this brotherhood between each other, which, uh, which um, at the end made that whole training group a success. Amazing. I mean, uh, I'm going to take, I have to move on now. Yo, you know, these questions are, are, are so, uh, I want to hear this stuff, you know, but I mean, I want to, I want to move on. I want to touch a bit also onto your coaching. But here's a question over here. Uh, I see, what's his name? Um, okay, I see Amanda Prince Louis first says appreciation and love for you, Johan. Uh, we uh, also thank you, Amanda. Have, uh, uh, Heinrich van Nieker says, why do you think we aren't seeing South Africans running 144s anymore? Well, Tepo Chite went 144 last year. But why is the, yeah. uh, do you think, um, what, what do you think needs to happen to, to get to a place where you've got more South Africans running 144s? Um, my, you know, my personal, my, my personal opinion, you know, and, and I think a lot of guys from different events will probably say what I'm saying now, yeah. but, 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 you know, for, for, for their own individual events, I think, I think 800 is, is probably, probably the, the event in South Africa where we can take on the world. Absolutely. We, we, we can take off the, you know, uh, because we've, 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 we've had this amount of success, you know, Ezekiel, me, Mulawuti, um, uh, Werner, Werner Boeter yeah. at 144, um, yeah. uh, uh, Andre Willifir, Andre you know, so we, we, mm. we've, had, we've had so many successes there. Uh, you know, I think what should happen in South Africa is I think um, that uh, the, su the success, what happened there is, is was, was that um, uh, we started training together. We started, yeah. the, coach, the coaches starting, started to talk to each other. You know, if you, yeah. if you go to if you go to a place like Kenya, the Aldere, you know, um, the Kenyans are training together. Absolutely. If, if, you, if you go to a place like Morocco, they train together. You know, say, year where I am now in Qatar, you know, they've, 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 they've got a bunch of young junior athletes they've got together with. I, I'm part of the, the junior development squad. Yes. And, and, and I, I, I and the, 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 the developing athletes, the youngsters, and yeah. they've got a bunch of that young athletes which we develop to get there and then and then they've got they've got this training group of athletes that are developing and they work together to make a success and you know that's why you know a guy like 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 any Kotsa um, uh, he's a brilliant coach and, yes. he, and, and he's got yeah I must say 400 euros I personally rate him as the best um, yeah. and and he you know he's got Samba but he's also got a bunch of other athletes that, that yeah. has been there. And suddenly, he's got two or three guys running 48 highs, 49 lows. Suddenly, because that one guy pulls them and everybody works together for, 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 for a common goal. Hey. And, that's, and, that, that, and that's, what we need, that's what we need in South Africa. And then, well, that's my personal opinion. Maybe I'll, I'll step on some toes of some 400 meter, 400 meter coaches now. But... My personal opinion is there's a lot of 400 meter athletes in South Africa who runs mm. 44 or 400 meters. 46 nowadays in the 400 meters. Will it will it take you through the first round of the Olympics? No, it no. won't. But a, 40, a 46 with some 800 meter work will give you an easy 51 first lap for 800 meters. Easy, yeah. That's really so maybe 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 we should start identifying some some 400 meter athletes. And uh, and get him into get 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 him into a program where they um where they where they start training with eight hundred meters. Mohan 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 Yeti is a good good example. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I totally agree. Yo, you know, I think yeah, we're gonna have this is like a whole conversation. You know, I I, I usually chat a lot with Sepang, and I'm like Sepang, when are you pulling us all together? When are you having the top ten eight hundred meter runners meet regularly? For camp, Absolutely. we train together, mm. we race like a unit, you know, we run 144s, but uh, it's a conversation for another day. <laughs> focus on you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but, but, but uh, I, think, I think me and you are thinking in the right direction regarding that. Though. Absolutely.
Okay, next question. I have to, we've got like four minutes. I need to get into this um, because, I mean, that, that's an, another important part of your, your life, you know. Um, I must also remind everybody that you are the World Indo Championship gold medalist. You've also got a, a bronze uh, at the Commonwealth Games. You know, there are titles, you know, that you've, 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 you've won and the silver at Worlds as well as, you know, all Africa Games, you're a finalist. And, um, you know, national record in the 1,000 meter, that's an interesting one. I'm just highlighting it a bit. But the next question yeah, I want to get to is uh, your coaching. Obviously, you, you eventually uh, moved into coaching, like you mentioned, at the moment in Qatar. But you also coached for years in, in uh, South Africa. What made you decide to transition? I know, I think, I think the nice thing about middle distance is that middle distance athletes tend to move up and want to give back. The sprinters, when they're done, they're done. What made yeah. you decide to coach? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you know what I've, I've I've always been when even when I was an athlete I, I always were a student a student of the sport a student of middle distance okay. so so lot, 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 lots of times when we had training sessions you know I would I would uh, you know I would ask JP JP but why did we do this session today yes and and in the beginning JP was like man why are you asking me these questions and then <laughs> and then and then, and then at the later stage he started to answer me. And yeah. the thing is, you know, my, 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 training, my training program I, I use is JP's training program. Uh, I believe totally in his training program because he had successes. He had, he had yeah. so many successes with it. And, and I do what JP did with us. Uh, although I do a little bit of new, more, more modern stuff, you know, like, like I, I put the guys in the gym and there's some, you know, new, new things yeah. that sometimes change. But, but the base of my training program is JP's. And, and, and I always knew that the day when I finished with athletics, I would like to coach. Okay. Um, yeah. And luckily for me, you know, you, 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 get, you get guys who finish with, finish with athletics, and then what happens is he, started, he starts to coach, but he, he, never, he never focused on what the coach did. Yeah. And then lots and then of them don't become successful coaches. Yes. Where, where, where I, um, uh, at training, always – always, you know, wondered, why are we doing this? Why are we doing it this time of the year? And why are we doing it at that time of the year? So, um, and, then, and then the other thing is, which, which I also do, though, is, is when, when I have any, any doubt in the way I coach and w what I have to do, I pick up the phone and I, and I, and I, and I phone the pro, whose name is J.P. van der I ask, okay. his, ask his advice. Absolutely. Uh, you have, yeah. We're going to have to uh, wrap it up. Uh, but, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to thank you for your time. This was like, I, I really, I mean, that 38 minutes, it, it just flew by. Um, yeah. And, you know, I just want to thank you for everything from Backtrack side. I want to thank you for what you've achieved, you know, when you when you won those World Indoor Championship titles and you medaled and w when you were, you know, setting the bar high, you know, it made a difference because it inspired us and uh, you're not forgotten. We need, ah, thank you. Uh, we need everything that you've got in your mind and everything that you've experienced and learned, you know, because we need to thank get you. the 800 back to, to where mm. we, it, it belongs. You know, Tipe, uh, Tite is there with the 144, but I yeah. don't know, Rekha has got a 145 and there's more guys. I know there's more there's guys more. That, can, yeah. that can move into the 144 world and threes and maybe twos, but we're going to need uh, all the guys who have done it before uh, to get mm. involved, you know, and, and give back to South African athletics. So thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. No problem. It. No, thank, thank, you, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really blessed. And thank you. And you know what? If I'm back in South Africa, you, you're going to be one of the first guys I'm going to contact. Have a nice coffee. Coffee on me. Coffee on <laughs> me. <laughs> and <laughs> and, and we will, we, 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 we'll have a nice long conversation, really. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. No, I really appreciate it. We'll do that. Uh, coffee on you. We need to, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll spend uh, your monies on that and then we'll, we'll have a good time. But thanks, Johan. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Temba. Continue with the good work. Uh, Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, Thank you. Be blessed. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, back chat for this evening. We were chatting to the legend, uh, Johan Bota. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. Tomorrow uh, is Wednesday, so we'll be back again on uh, Thursday. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your questions. I think we had a good time. Uh, it's always uh, great chatting to athletes. It's always motivating. Have a good evening from me, Timber Madima. Hashtag.
Diary of a Zenda, hashtag Zenda. Good night.